this girl is meant to be allergic to the sun. I would call in, is that you? But yeah, let's have a little look. Hey, I'm Sophia. Hello, and when I Sophia, how are you? <laughs> I was a kid, me and my family always took trips to the beach. Aww. I can still remember how much I loved building sand castles. Beaches are really fun until you get in the water and now you're like sticky with sand. That's like the one thing I hate about beaches. I'm playing with those cute little crabs. However, <laughs> one day, I suddenly felt dizzy and noticed that I was completely covered in rashes and hives. I got scared Bloody and ran again. to my mom to tell her that something was wrong. This literally However, happens to me. However, my throat was so swollen that I couldn't even speak. My parents saw that I was suffocating and rushed me to the hospital. Luckily, the doctors were able to save my life. I've literally, I've had hives and like a swollen throat, but not to the point I had to go to the hospital. But a few oh. hours later, I got diagnosed with solar urticaria or sun allergy. It means that whenever That's UV crazy. light rays hit my skin, I get rashes that burn like fire to make things work. Once again, where do these things activate? Why does it only start at a certain age? It's so bizarre. My sun allergy is so extreme that I can't leave the house unless it's nighttime or- Oh my gosh, she's literally a living vampire, the poor girl. I'm wearing a big sweatshirt that covers all of my skin. You can imagine how my whole life changed in an instant. Oh my goodness. The worst thing was going to school because all my classmates could play on the schoolyard while I had to stay inside my classroom with the curtains closed. It reminds me of this Netflix film where a girl had to stay inside a house because she um, couldn't be exposed to germs outside. Very good movie. I can't remember what it's called, but definitely watch it. This poor girl. I felt so lonely and I couldn't even go to the cafeteria to eat with my classmates because it had such big windows and no curtains. Whoa. Suddenly, I was a complete loner without friends. I really wonder if she would get sick as well, because I know if you don't get enough sunlight, you can get really sick, so yeah, I'm curious. I guess that's why I hated school, but life at home wasn't perfect either. I had to spend a lot of time with my evil brother. We hated evil. each other, and he always told me that my sun allergy was ruining our family. Oh, that's because not very we, nice at all. We couldn't go camping or go to the beach anymore. Surely they could take the sun still and just leave the daughter inside. I also had nightmares where I tried to run away from the sun, but it would follow me into our basement. Once the sun rays hit me, rashes would form on my arms with blue slime coming out of them. Ah. And then I would slowly melt like a snow. Could she go out in the snow or cloudy weather? That's what I want to know. on a beach. But most of the time I spent laying in bed crying and wondering if any guy would ever be willing to date a misfit like me. It's the number one question of girls. Am I dateable? I was about to give up on life, but then my brother had his 13th birthday. My parents asked him if he had any wishes, and he said his only wish was to go back to the beach. My parents got mad at him and told him to be considerate of my sun allergy and to stop talking about the beach. That's but a little bit harsh on him though, like he, he shouldn't be deprived of the beach. He started crying, pointed at me and said I was an evil vampire that was scared of the <laughs> Dracula the sun and tried to suck the blood out of our family. I remember feeling so terrible afterwards that I went to my mom and asked if she could bring me to a foster home because I didn't want to be a burden Aww. to our family anymore. Luckily, I have the greatest mom in the world and she said that she would never ever leave me because she just that's a good mom. loves me too much. I guess that's exactly what I needed to hear. Because the next day, I decided once and for all to stop being a victim of my oh, son allergy and to do? finally take control of my life again. I joined an indoor hockey team. I didn't even think she can do indoor sports, yeah. To make new friends. I bought a telescope and took my family out to the beach and watched the stars at night. Aww. And I stopped thinking of my sun allergy as something bad that happened to me. And instead, I started to think of it as something good that happened this for- This is so positive. And it's just crazy that there's such thing as like allergies to the sun. Like it's sad there's no cure for, for me. And that made me become a stronger person. Aww. Now I'm in college and people here are much more understanding. Adults. Some even think it's cool that I have a sun allergy. And there was one cute guy who approached me and said oh, he always yeah. wanted to date a good looking vampire like me. <laughs> And I've also decided that if I should <laughs> okay, Edward Cullen. ever get married, that it will be during a solar eclipse. Because that would be so romantic. I guess it so sounds the sun pops amazing, back up and she's covered in hives. At this point in my life, I'm truly grateful for my sun allergy. 
It taught me that the events in our lives don't control us, but that it's all about how we react to those events. That's very The true. first two years after I developed my sun allergy, I couldn't stop pitying myself, and I spent every night crying myself Aww. to sleep. It'd be very hard, like, from a young age to do Wondering why life was so unfair to me. However, now I've realized that complaining about things you can't control doesn't make sense. It's a waste of time and you energy. Preach this? Instead, I try to only focus on those things that I do have control over. Like it's crazy how like people can just be so positive when they've had so much misfortune happen to them. And you got people that's got nothing wrong with them. They take everything for granted. It like really grounds you watching things like this. Studying for school or having a good time with my family, playing board games and making jokes. I just want to thank you for listening to my story. <laughs> I hope you learned something from oh, it. How cute. It's like so sad, but I love how at the end of it, it's like so positive and you see like the positive in it. The posi positivity in it. I guess like it's hard to find, but she definitely found it. So that is the end of this little story and video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.